The women from Odra Stratos local government area in Edo State recently staged a protest over the non declaration of Honorable Sunday Aredo of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the House of Assembly election in Odra Southwest local government by the INEC returning officer. The women's grievances was the declaration of the election as inconclusive, in spite of the fact that Aredo secured the majority of the votes cast as a way to favor his opponent. To them, this is an injustice taken too far. In 2019, sir, Honorable Sunday and I got this very gentleman standing here. He won his election in 2019. He was denied representation from the House of Assembly. For four years, of your Southwest have no representatives. God did it again. We went for another election. The people of Obia Southwest re-elected re him to go back and represent them. Yes. Today, what we are seeing is an eyesore. Yes. We cannot take it that you have called. That is why we have come to cry yes. for you to help yes. us. Yes. Honorable Sunday Aredo won the election. Yes. The results have been uploaded yes. only yes. for one man, Professor Moruyi, that want to rob the name of Aineke in world. He, he, he announced that the election was inconclusive. We are saying God forbid. Also, towing the women line of the women's action was the member representing Ovia Federal Constituency at the National Assembly in Norbidenit, Idaosa. We have come to demand for justice that this election should be announced so that we all will go back and start our various work. We want justice for what we did. We have voted, there was no crisis in the election, there was no violence recorded, and we want our, our mandate to be on air just like every other constituency in Edo that have won. We are APC, we are demanding justice from the, uh, this commission in Edo, any commission in Edo, and they have told us now that they are referring this matter to Abuja, and we are also going to Abuja to go and protest. We will not rest until this mandate is given to us. Earlier, a day before the elections, the APC state chairman, Hon Kone David Emusi, had, had informed the public about the plan of both the Edo state government and the PDP to rig the election using talks, security agencies, and other means. That several INEC officials, the conventional police, and the Nigerian army in many constituencies in Edo were compromised and seriously influenced to rig the state assembly elections in favor of PDP. This we say based on good authority that there was an arrangement prior to the election between INEC and the state governor on the one hand and security agencies to alter the result of the elections in many constituencies, even where it was obvious that our party APC is leading in favor of the PDP. Again, the APC chairman Imusi, after the elections, accused the election umpire INEC for declaring the glaring election won by the APC as inconclusive, claiming overvoting, but overlooked the overvoting issue when it favors the PDP. He specifically mentioned Ego, Oedo East, and Ophir Southwest as references. In many constituencies where they were overvoting in many polling units, as long as it's in favor of PDP, they will declare the result and neglect the overvoting. Anita Irene reporting for GTV.